Teeth whitening is one of the most popular cosmetic treatments in the UK and performing the service on customers needs proper dental training. But an undercover investigation by this programme has exposed rogue beauticians illegally performing whitening treatments and potentially putting the public in danger. Guy Lin has this exclusive report. Check out those Hollywood smiles. With more and more celebrities showing off their sparkling whites, it's no surprise demand for teeth whitening is on the up. Most dentists now offer a teeth whitening service. And after a series of treatments, patients can have dramatically whiter teeth. It's safe, but only if a dental professional does it. With high demand, some beauticians are now illegally offering this treatment luring customers in with cheaper prices. We've had a tip-off about a salon off the Edgware Road. You're getting £50 off each anyway. Oh, that's right, that's right. Yes. <laughs> Ashley Smith charges £100 for teeth whitening. I'll talk you through everything as we're doing it. She seems to imply she's got qualifications. Yeah, I'm trained. Yeah, yeah I'm qualified, yeah. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah. She performs the dental procedure she's not allowed to do. And we discover her only qualification is a one-day course with a tooth whitening firm. If you're seeing somebody on the high street that's attended a one-day course, and, and putting that into perspective, dentists attend a five-year training programme in order to qualify, you're placing yourself in harm's way. Megan is a qualified dental hygienist working at this Harley Street practice. She's undergone three years training to be allowed to whiten George's teeth today. I think it just makes them look a lot healthier. That's OK. Mm -hmm. She applies several rounds of a powerful bleaching agent to turn his teeth white. And an ultra-powerful light quickens the process. Legally, only a dentist or a regulated professional, such as a hygienist, may do this with a dentist's prescription. If this is used incorrectly, it can cause damage to the gums specifically um, causing kind of burns and things and should worst case scenario there ever be a medical emergency arise we can ensure that the patient is in safe hands. For public safety it's mandatory for anyone performing the procedure to be registered with the General Dental Council GDC and surprise surprise we discover none of the beauticians who want to whiten our teeth feature on the list. Our next appointment is at Anu's beauty salon in Ilford. Our researchers is told to sit down for the procedure. A mould is prepared and filled with whitening gel. Then they tell us we have to put the mould in ourselves. You can do it yourself. Why is that then? Because that's what the law is. Everywhere you go, when you do it, you have to put it in yourself. And the manager confirms that. It's just because if you go to a dentist, they're practitioners so they can carry uh, out the treatment whereas we are not allowed to, oh, we can sorry. only supervise. The procedure is supposed to last an hour but we are bought after a few minutes pretending it's causing pain. The GDC has seen an increase in the number of so-called self-administer processes. The GDC position is that these processes are still illegal um, where an individual provides advice, treatment or attendance, i.e. tooth whitening, on another person, a member of the public, they're engaged in illegal activity. There are numerous kits and toothpastes we can all buy on the high street to whiten our own teeth safely. They contain tiny amounts, less than 0.01% of the bleaching agent hydrogen peroxide. Anything stronger, up to 6%, may only be prescribed by a dentist. Higher than that's illegal. There's been a worrying development. Hi there, can you tell me if you do teeth whitening? Yes, I do. Um, I charge 75 pounds. We've come across this beautician, Fran Lowe from West Ham, who we suspect may be offering hydrogen peroxide at 25%. The first shock when we arrive for treatment at Franz is where it's at. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Not a dental surgery or a clinic. Nice house. Thank you. I'm sorry. You're in my bedroom, by the way. She charges £75, which includes scraping the teeth to get them ready for whitening. Mm. 
in itself a criminal offence, as she's performing dentistry. Don't touch that, because if it gets on your hands, it will burn your hands. Oh. Then she tells us what strength peroxide. It does, it does have hydrogen peroxide, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah, 25%. Remember, dentists can only administer hydrogen peroxide at 6%. She's offering a gel that contains over four times that. So what impact will that have on your gums? We asked dentist Ben Atkins to test it out. Apply hydrogen peroxide at varying percentages to some slices of meat representing the gums. First, less than 0.01%, the strength allowed over the counter. Virtually no, Virtually no effect. And this is a 6% professional hydrogen peroxide. Again, you can see a small, small amount of response. Finally, at higher than 25%, the strength Fran wants to use. And that shows you why we don't use that on our teeth. In this so, so that would be illegal and you, can really, you can really see that. You can really see the, the, the effect that it's had, can't you? you? It's just taken all the pigment out and that would be... Imagine the sore, the pain you would have if that was your mouth. I wouldn't want that in my mouth and that would just... It would be devastating. The authorities have seized kits sold with excessive levels of bleaching agent via the internet. And treatments with rogue beauticians have put a number of people in hospital. Just look at the damage to the nerves and gum, teeth loss, burns and blisters. And if you want to know how that feels, ask Richard. It can only be described as a really, really sharp, excruciating pain and it went on for a good 45 minutes. He was given hydrogen peroxide many times the UK legal limit in a procedure with a beautician that went wrong. And a few days later, they became very raw and very sensitive and it basically like open sores. After about six months, I started to realise that the sensitivity wasn't going to go away and I was just assuming I'm going to have very sensitive teeth for the rest of my life. Back at France, she knows what she's doing is illegal. Obviously, you know, in all honesty, you, you know, you're not supposed to use what I use. Oh, I see that. It's, it's the dentist, isn't it? That's why you pay £300 to go and have your teeth done at the dentist. Yeah. It's important to check if she'll really go ahead. We know she has lots of customers on her books. Right, if it does dry, then obviously I'll take it off. First, Fran gives us a gum shield. Right down there. That's it. Then she starts applying the hydrogen peroxide to the teeth. What's that? This is the peroxide. That's the peroxide? Yeah. We've taken dental advice and abort straight away to cause no damage. <coughs> do you want to take it off? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Take it off. Right, you cannot take that gum shield out yet. Usually Fran says she'd leave the peroxide on for well over an hour. As we depart, she sells us a whitening syringe filled with banned levels of bleaching agent. Can we take that? 22%, actually okay. it's 22%. Fabulous. Okay, That's lovely. Good. Can you get I paid you for that, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, cool. That would look better. Show your hand. Bye. After filming, our researcher has a full dental checkup and gets the all clear for no damage. Ben Atkins treats people after they've had botched hydrogen peroxide operations. We showed him our undercover footage, and he says it's the worst he's seen. It's putting a patient's life at risk, doing dental procedures, not in a dental surgery. Right down there. I see. I see the other side when things have gone wrong and patients come into my surgery and I've got to deal with it. I've seen patients go abroad and had their teeth butchered. But in my own country, having it here and seeing this, it's beyond, it's astounding. It, it's, it, it shouldn't happen. Ashley Smith claimed she used the safe, non-peroxide gel. She ignored our requests for a response. Our new beauty, who gave us gel to self-administer, says it wasn't peroxide and was safe. They claim their supplier assured them there was no need to be a dental professional to do teeth whitening. They say they've stopped. But what about Fran Lowe? She denied buying, storing or using peroxide gels on customers. She claimed she said she did, in order to get a sale. She then said that she wasn't aware that what she was doing was illegal and now says that she stopped doing teeth whitening altogether. As for the gel she sold us, which breaks down to 700 times the legal limit of hydrogen peroxide a non-dental professional can use, we'll be handing that to the authorities. The GDC says illegal reports are rising. And during our investigation, we heard of other beauticians ignoring all the warnings and playing roulette with patient safety.
Hey.